Hi everyone. Today is Palm Sunday. Today is the beginning of Holy Week. Holy Week is such an emotional roller coaster. First of all, on Palm Sunday, we're waving palms and saying Hosanna in the highest and celebrating Jesus. Then on Good Friday, when Jesus dies on the cross, we're sad. And then on Easter Sunday, we're excited again because he has risen from the dead. Today, I thought I would tell you all about Palm Sunday, the story of Palm Sunday. First of all, have you ever been to a parade? It's exciting to be at a parade, isn't it? Especially like a Santa Claus parade where there's bands and marchers. And at the very end, we're so excited to see Santa. Have you ever waved to him to say, hi, Santa, hoping Santa looks at you and waves back? That's what the people in Jerusalem were doing. They were so excited to see Jesus. You see, Jesus and his disciples went to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover. And that's a special celebration that lasts about a week. Do you have any celebrations that last a whole week? Well, this one does. And so they were coming up to Jerusalem and Jesus said to his disciples, go and get me a donkey. There's a man up ahead who has one. If the man asks who needs it, tell them the Lord does. And sure enough, when the disciples went to, to get the donkey, the owner of the donkey said, just a minute, who needs this donkey? And the disciples said, the Lord needs it. And the man agreed. So by the time he got to Jerusalem, people were all excited. They saw him coming from a long ways away and they knew he was a man of miracles. They knew he was a king and they were all excited to see him. And they waved palm branches and shouted, Hosanna. They were so happy he was there. And Jesus came in riding his donkey and he waved to people and people called out to him because they wanted him to see them. But they were excited to see him for the wrong reason. You see, Jesus is King of Kings. But do you know where Jesus' kingdom is? If you said in heaven, you're right. Jesus' kingdom is in heaven. But these people thought his kingdom was on earth. You see, the Jewish people were living under the rule of Roman government a people who didn't understand who God was because they worshiped many gods and they made idols of their gods and they had rules that were unfair and unjust and the people of Jerusalem were tired of living that way and they were hoping for a warrior to come and overthrow the Roman government so they could have their city back and live the way they need to live. God's way. Well, that's not who Jesus was. Jesus wasn't a warrior. Jesus came with love in his heart and peace in his heart because his kingdom is not of this world. He came to show us how to live God's way and how we can have a relationship with God. And the people kind of missed out on that, which is why on Good Friday, they kind of turned on him instead of being excited for him they told them to cruci they told the roman government to crucify him that's pretty sad huh jesus even tried his best to show them that he came in peace because he came in on a donkey if he was a warrior what do you think he would have come in riding an ostrich <laughs> that's silly isn't it you're right, he would have come in riding a horse, a giant steed. But that's not who he was, so he came in riding a donkey, plodding along. This is the beginning of a very special week. We have something special planned the afternoon of Good Friday at one o'clock. It's a little bit of a journey through Holy Week for families of young children. If you get an opportunity to join us, we would welcome you. 
it would be awesome if you could email us and let you know we're coming you're coming so we can make sure we can prepare for you have a blessed week